Hello, my name is Keith Barkley. I'm with Crevere and this is Soaptainer. I'm going to show you why Soaptainer is going to change the way we use our built-in soap dispensers. Okay, so once you take Soaptainer out of the box, you're going to find uh, what comes with it. You have this hardware pack. It contains two screws, a plastic clamp, and a little o-ring. You get your 3 8 silicone hose. It's about a meter long and you get your installation instructions along with soap tainer. So let me show you the easiest way to install soap tainer. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this container that's screwed in uh, from the bottom of your countertop. Just reach up under there and unscrew it. Now you can see why you're always refilling it. It's so small and uh, it doesn't hold much. So unscrew it and recycle it. Okay, so then you're gonna remove your pump and you can see you have the pump head the body of the pump and you have this extension stem first thing you're really going to want to do is rinse these underwater clean them off clean all the soap residue out of off all these parts make sure that there's no soap on it anymore and dry it really good and make sure it's dry no water uh, because that's going to make the installation uh, much more durable okay so once you have it cleaned off uh, you take a look at your pump if you have a cylindrical uh, base on your pump. It doesn't matter if it's wider than this or a little more narrow. Just take this stem off. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hose that comes with soap tainer, silicone hose, so it stretches. So you can stretch this over a much bigger size and you're going to push it on and you want to push it on as much as you possibly can. Okay, and just keep working on and get it on there. Okay, once you have it on, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty tight installation. So that's not gonna come off. You don't need a clamp or anything. Okay, and so after you get that on, you're just gonna take the hose and you're gonna thread it down through the hole. Okay, I might push a little bit to get it through. And that's the last time you'll ever need to take your pump out. Okay, say you don't have the right size here on your pump base. What you're going to do is you're still going to take the extension tube off. Okay, make sure that it's really clean and dry. You're going to get your O-ring from the hardware pack and you're going to just put it over the edge just like that. Okay, then you'll take your tubing and you're going to slide it over the O-ring. Okay, once you get past the O-ring, you're going to take your clamp that comes in the hardware pack and you're going to put it over the tubing and you're going to squeeze as hard as you can. You may want pliers and make sure that's squeezed all the way in and you'll have now a really strong connection on your tubing. If for some reason your tubing that you get is really skinny and this is not working this clamp, you can get a zip tie or two and do the same thing that this clamp did and just really tighten it up. Uh, so that you still have this connection where you can, you know, a, a good tug's not going to pull it off. Okay, so now what you're going to do is if you have this set up and you're using the clamp, you're not going to be able to stick it through this way because the clamp is too big. So you'll have to thread it up the other way. So you may need somebody to help you with this, but I should be able to do it myself because I got a, a pretty good reach here. Okay, so you see your your tubing sticking through the top. You just want to grab it. Okay, so now you're going to take your pump head and put it back on the stem and push down as hard as you can. Make sure you have a good connection. And now you're ready to get under the cabinet. Okay, so now what you're going to do is put soap tainer under your sink. Open your cabinet. You want to make sure you have uh, 19 and a quarter inches of height clearance uh, to fit this in. Most kitchen cabinets, if not all of them, uh, will be fine. So you have this uh, base still on soap tainer from shipment. You want to keep that on and you want to place it under your cabinet where you think the best location for it will be. And I usually like to stick it all the way over to the side the soap dispenser is on as far as possible. So I'm here basically up against the hinges. I want to just maybe pull away from the hinges a hair and line the um, front of it up with the back of the door. So wherever the back of this door is going to be, 
You want to be just a hair behind that. So what I like to do is put it in place, close the door, make sure you have the clearance. See what that did was it pushed it back a little bit. So then you also want to tip it out and make sure nothing is in the way when you tip it in and out. Okay, so if that's the location you want, you take a pencil and you just want to mark the front and the side so that you know that location. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to, there's a little tab here uh, on the front. You want to push that down and then you want to pull the soap tainer forward. So once you push that down, you're going to slide the two pieces apart like so. Okay, so once they're apart, you put your base back on the marks you made. And with a 1 8 inch drill bit, you're just going to drill, pre-drill those two holes in the bottom of your cabinet. Okay, so simple as that. And you take your two screws that came in the hardware pack. And you want to make sure that that is nice and tight down there on the bottom so it's not moving around. So once you know that that's good to go, you basically just take uh, your soap tanner, tilt it. So if it's like this, you just want to tilt it. And then you're going to take it and line it up with the base and just push it in until it snaps. You want to check it, make sure it's in there. It is. So then you just grab your hose from before and you're going you're gonna to slide it over the nipple on the back of soap tanner. Actually, you may want to do this before you take it out, I mean, before you put it in. And this way I can show you how to do it here. I mean, it's simple. You just take your hose and you push it on. And again, you want to push it on as far as you possibly can. Okay, so once that's all the way on, it's going to be a nice, good, tight connection. Okay, then slide, slide your soap tainer in. Okay, and then you go check it for operation and you're good to go. Okay, so once it's in, you tilt it out, peel the vinyl cover off, and now you can get a whole gallon of soap and you just fill it right up. No funnel needed because of our nice big opening we have here. If you have a gallon, you don't have to worry about overfilling because a gallon fits in very easily. So you can see I have uh, the gallon resting inverted on soap tainer. So if you have thick soap, you can let it sit there and let every single drop drain out so you'll never waste another drop of soap again. Okay, so once your soap is drained in, you just simply put the cover back on. So soap tainer is designed with a couple features in it that you may not notice right off the bat, but it has actually a little finger pull. So when you're standing, you can just reach in and grab it with your fingers to tilt it out. So that makes it very nice and easy to use. Also, we didn't want a screw on cover. We wanted a peel off cover so that it's really just not an issue taking the cover on and off. We also designed it with an air gap on the top so that it makes it a little bit harder to overfill if you have a lot of soap to put in. And also it gives it room for when the unit is tipped back, it actually automatically allows a, an airspace here so that the soap is not pushing up against the cover once it's tilted back. Okay, we also have a reverse gauge here. So this gauge actually doesn't tell you how much soap is in the container. It tells you how much soap you can fill back in to reach uh, maximum capacity. So when we get all the way down here to the one gallon mark, we know we can go out to the store. We still probably have a week's worth of soap left in there, buy another gallon, come home and just fill the thing right back up again and you know, recycle the gallon container. No need to store the gallon container under your sink anymore. It all stores in soap tainer. Okay, now that uh, soap tainer is installed and filled with soap, you just have to prime it. So you're going to have to pump this a few times to get the soap up the tube into your dispenser. But once that's done, you'll never have to do that again. As long as you refill it before, there it goes. So now you go, you got your soap. So now, as long as you refill it before it totally drains out, you'll never have to prime it again. And again, 
that's easy because with the gallon capacity and you can see that soap level every time you open your cabinet you'll know when to go out and buy soap and you'll know when to refill it so again you'll never run out of soap again you'll hardly be refilling it and now uh, your soap dispenser is going to be something that you'll love to use and never worry about uh, refilling it and that's soap tanner guys